Now, House Republican uh, Kevin McCarthy of California is one of the architects of the new strategy, and you're a young gun, despite your gray hair, right? I saw, by the way, you wouldn't tell Meredith Vieira how old you were, and oh, we I'm won't. 45. Uh, all right, fair enough. That makes you young enough uh, to be a young gun, right? Bon Jovi would accept. Uh, Congressman, I want to start with uh, this, which is, what are the first two or three actual bills, if Republicans take control of Congress, January 4th, 5th, right after you guys are sworn in, what are the first two or three bills you're going to put up, put up for a vote that you can tell voters right now based on this pledge? Because based on the pledge, I understand where you guys stand on these issues, but I don't see what is the first two or three votes you guys are going to call for. Well, you got to understand what the pledge is. The pledge isn't saying we're waiting to the election. The pledge is saying right now, we'll extend and not raise taxes in a recession. We want to end the uncertainty. We'll give a 20% cut to small businesses. That's any small business with under 500 employees to get us moving again. We will rein in uncertainty from regulations where agencies cannot impose new regulations that cost business more than $100 million without Congress voting on it. We will repeal the 1099 form for small businesses that pass in the health care. We will roll back spending to pre-stimulate and pre-bailout funds. That's a hundred billion dollars. We will cap discretionary spending, which gone up by 88 percent in just the last three years. We will cut Congress's budget. That can all be done before we leave this fall. Well, can we get specific about it? Because as you are well aware, that's one of the key criticisms here is that what is actually a conservative critic called it pablum, that you're saying let's cut spending, but you weren't specific about where you would cut and I mean isn't that the, the real issue everybody likes to cut spending but the issue is where how what specifically are you gonna cut well, if you, if you want to look at it, you can also look at the National Review that says it's bolder than the contract and will have longer-lasting effects. What are you going to cut? Discretionary spending. Anything that's not security, anything that's well, not hang on. Yeah. What is discretionary? Give us two, two or three Discre items that are discretionary. Yeah. You could go through every different program within government outside of entitlements, outside of, um, outside of national defense. That is discretionary spending that okay, Congress so has control over. That has it, gone over 88% in the last two years. So what you comes can go to mind from, for that where you, where you want to, if you could wave a magic wand and do it unilaterally, what would you cut? You had the line item. The line item would be across the board. The other thing that you would do is you would cap Congress's spending. That is Congress itself. How much is that? How, cut yeah, back. how much is it we That's talking about there? That's a million, a hundred million dollars for Congress. Do you realize Congress's budget went up five percent last year? How many small businesses went up five percent? Congressman, what do you say to Eric Erickson over at Red State? He's sort of a, a voice of this activist, grassroots conservative, some of the, uh, the folks that are uh, fueling the Tea Party enthusiasm. He writes this. He says, it is a series of compromises and milk toast rhetorical flourishes in search of unanimity among House Republicans because the House GOP does not have the fortitude to lead boldly in opposition of Barack Obama. I have to say, you're, you're not giving us, you're telling across the board, you're not going after specifics. Are you going to hit farm subsidies? Are you going to say, you know what, no more support to the states on X, Y, and Z? I mean, it seems to me that that's where Eric Erickson's coming from here. Well, if you look when you go back and you roll back the stimulus, you can look at the L.A. Times where they spent $100 millions on 50 jobs. You're going after each and every one. Then the one thing you have to realize, it's not a platform for the party. We have a platform. These are bills that can be taken up today. And if you look at the 42 pages of where you go through, specifically lays out each and every bill of where it goes. This is something that could be taken up now where we, can't, where we won't leave. Look at the uncertainty that's happening in business today. The Democrats want to leave Congress when you have tax increases looming in a recession for capital gains. They have tax increases on dividends. They have tax increases for small businesses. They have new regulations coming in from cap and trade on the EPA. We're saying no. We're going to rein that back in. Are you saying yes to the proposed small business tax cut that the president has proposed? I'm sure you're familiar with it, that the 100 percent expensing of R&E, some of these tax cuts the president has put out there. I presume you probably support those because they're small business tax cuts. 
We believe a small business tax cut of 20% for small business that are 500 employees or less is a better way to go. That that is an a, ability to keep small business not only in business, mm -hmm. but they, they employ 80% of all so, new jobs that are growing. So would you vote that against those? That is a greater the, growth. Uh, understanding your preference from the, for the ones you're proposing, would you vote against the small business tax cuts the administration is proposing? Yeah, I think our plan is a better way, yes. But I, I guess, Congressman uh, West, you know, right now the Democrats are still in the majority. The president is the Democrat in the White House. You know, if you can get 70% of something that you like, would you support it? If I could get 70% of what that I like? Of what the president, you know, the, it seems as if these small business tax cuts, you know, they're, they're not exactly the way you want to do them, but they get at the goal what you want to do, but, but you still don't want to support them? Look, that sounds a lot like what the president said with the stimulus, and the stimulus did not work. We want to focus on the private sector. This is a project that will work. This is a program that will work that puts the money into the hands of the individuals to actually start moving the economy. It's a better way forward, and it's a better opportunity. All right. Okay.